Hey, what's up? Um, I want to talk about um, something I always wanted to buy uh, since I was a little kid. I mean, since I was uh, exposed to uh, punk rock uh, when I was around like 13 or 14, I, I saw a video of Sex Pistols playing the, the Anarchy in the UK, and I was totally shocked by the video I was totally what the hell is this band all about and he just totally I did 360 in my life basically basically just completely put my world upside down sex pistols this guy I mean this guy one of the sex pistols but anyway you know the sex pistols always had a some kind of style always you know cool clothes cool hairstyle they got some awesome music going on i was you know pretty much you know big fan of sex pistols for a long time and you know they had one of the shoes they had it got the very thick like two inch sole to it and then that's called three parts and you know at the time when i was a kid when i was like 13 14 maybe 15 16 around that time i always wanted it but it's just super expensive in Japan, you know. When I used to live in Japan when I was a kid. I grew up in Japan. I grew up in Tokyo. It was super expensive, like some like you know, maybe like four hundred bucks, maybe five hundred bucks, maybe maybe even like seven, eight hundred dollars, you know, for the for just a pair of shoes. And it's just way too much for me, you know, for the kid. And then I grew up. Now I'm in forties. And then I got a little bit of money to spend, you know. And then I was looking at the, uh, the Instagram the other day, and then I saw the ads of the, this shoe company, George Cox. George Cox Creeper is always been an uh, original one to me, you know. And then, uh, anyways, going back to the Instagram thing, I was looking at the Instagram, and then kind of reminded me of the shoes, you know. I, I, I totally forgot about it. You know, as I grew up, kind of you know, grew out of punk rock. I mean, I still still listen to punk rock, but kind of grew out of you know, the fashion and stuff like that. And then I checked the price. Still very expensive shoes. It's almost like three hundred dollars, maybe like around like three hundred, three fifty, three hundred around there. And then you gonna have to ship it from the UK. I mean, you could buy in the United States, but there's always a margin. On it. So it's gonna be more expensive to buy from sellers from United States. And then maybe like a little while ago, I saw on the, the newsletter that said one of the very very few discount uh, the sales period only for three days or something like that. You know, twenty percent off of I, I think fifteen percent off. I know it was I think twenty percent off. Anyway, it was you know there's some kind of decent amount of discount going on. And then I just jumped on the opportunity and then bought these shoes, you know, these shoes. Just came from UK, just came shipped right from UK to my door in the United States. Let me open this up and then show what kind of shoe it is and I'm going to give you some review. Okay, let's do this. Okay, here's the invoice. It's got the invoice right here. It was, uh, let me see, the invoice. 230 UK pounds and uh, shipping cost me uh, 20 pounds. And the discount on saving was uh, 46 pounds deducted and the total came out to be 204 UK pounds. I think uh, I checked the credit card statement saying uh, I think it was close to like 300 something USD. It wasn't too bad. It's kind of expensive. It is very expensive as the shoes, but it's you know, maybe I don't know. I always wanted it, so why not? I live only once, so this is care of. Creep souls. Creep soul maybe? How to care the
Returns on exchange footwear, non-UK. He says the uh, item must be returned within 28 days of, of the 7-day notification email at your own cost. You have to pay for your shipping, of course, back to UK. And I don't think I'm going to return it anyways. All right, let's do this. Right here. George Cox. Established 1906. Wow. He's got the some, uh, oh, this is a tote bag. I thought this is a shoe bag, but this is a tote bag that says a uh, log on it. Uh, that's pretty cool. It all, just a fabric tote bag. Maybe put the shoes in there, I think. I don't know, you can do, you can do whatever you want. All right. And look at this. Look at this here. This is the one. This is the one. And I bought the, uh, the new color they put out. This is called, uh, uh, what was it, what was it called? Uh, the, this is a new color called uh, the ox blood. It's kind of uh, maroon. It's kind of reddish maroon, kind of brownish. It's more like a deep maroon, I think. Yep. Here it is. Here it is. This is like a nice two inch sole. Ah, and it got the very, it's kind of soft not too soft it's kind of it's a good amount of a it's kind of like um uh the clocks yeah clocks have the you know similar sole similar material sole it's rubber basically rubber i think you can erase pencils with this see how nice this is this is uh made in england yeah Straight up made in England, baby. All right, and I've got uh, size seven because my feet is US 8.5 size. All right. This is it, right here. Handmade, handmade shoes, right here. Let's put this on. For some reason, I couldn't find my black jeans today. I don't know. I have no idea where my kid put my jeans. I couldn't find it. So anyway, so let's see. I sent the email about the size of the shoes and then was told uh, I wear you know US 8.5 and then you know what size should I get and then they told me UK size is a little bit different plus uh, I was told like um, they are made bigger so you know they told me I should go for a 7 that should fit and then as far as I feel it it's just exact fit this is like really, really exact fit. This is very good. So whoever wears it, US 8.5 should go for UK 7. This is exactly the same fit as my feet. Exact same fit, pretty good. It's not too loose, it's not too tight. Perfect, good. And then these are leather, handmade leather shoes, so definitely need a break in time. It's kind of stiff. It's very stiff. And I prob probably is gonna hurt my feet if I keep walking around without breaking in. I need to break these in. 
definitely. Let's see. Okay. Ooh. Good. Feels good. Feels punk rock, baby. Yeah, and how it looks. I definitely feel taller. Yes, I do feel taller. I mean, obviously it's two inches higher, taller than what I am, so. I'm only 5'7", but I'm like 5'9", right now. Looks good. Going down the steps of my apartment from fifth floor to the ground. Going out. So it's going on. Wow, it's super bright today. Let's see. I'm walking this way. Now it's gonna be shadow. Kinda, it feels a little weird walking. It kinda, I don't know, it just, because there's no, the soul's left. It feels kinda weird. Kinda rubbing feeling. Right under my foot. Kinda, like, especially when you do like this, like, you feel the rubber moving under. You know what I mean? Like, when you kind of can rub against rubber, kind of a little bit moves, little shakes under it. That's how I feel. I mean, this is a this is not a practical shoes like Nike or Adidas. It's not a running shoes. So it's a fashion shoes. So you gotta do it. I just walk around my building, just test it out how it feels. Uh, let me put this shoes off. Alright. You got dirty a little bit. Anyways, uh, overall, you know, uh, this is how uh, my conclusion. Uh, actually, you know, I really like the shoes. This is very well made very beautiful looking very pretty looking shoes nice color nice material i feel it's gonna long, it's gonna last long i'm a little little iffy about uh, this rubber is gonna last long time but yeah, i probably do well uh, my cat's hissing right now behind my camera uh, anyway uh, <clears throat> it's got a nice touch to it it's got a lot of details I didn't know there was a string going around these leather, what do you call it, like weaving? I didn't even see it. There's a leather weaving and then strings going around. It's got D rings. Yeah, this is a very, very well made shoes made in England. I love things from England. I don't know, they got some good stuff going on. Always. Cool cultures. Yep, this is it. Uh, this is my review of George Cox. Uh, I think this is the shoe called a Skipton Oxblood. 
and mine is a uh, size UK7. You know, it's not too cheap, kind of expensive shoes. But you know, if you have a chance and if you like it, you know, if you like those kind of things, you know, definitely you should get it. It's a cool shoes. I would recommend. And then, and I hope you like my review. And if you liked it, uh, please uh, subscribe and hit the like so I can uh, keep going YouTube and stuff. So, alright. Thank you very much. Have a good one.